Hey there guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And in today's video, um, we're going to be looking at how to make Windows faster or how to make Windows perform better. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the recording here. So you make sure I have the quality turned up. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, go. So the first thing I want to show you is disk defrag. Just type this in, just type in defrag and optimize drives. Click enter and then click optimize on everything. I also really would recommend clicking down here where it says scheduled optimization and then click change settings. I'd really recommend having both of these on and then on daily so you don't have to manually do it. It will automatically do it within a week. Second thing, adjusting the performance on Windows. Turning off all animations just for performance. So to do that, click the Windows key, type in performance. It's going to be probably the second one that pops up. Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. What you want to do is click enter. Adjust for best performance. Now, I'm going to go for best appearance and show you a difference of what it does. It turn these are animations. So you see how it does that little animation? Well, I'm gonna turn it off and you'll notice a huge difference. It's instant when I click it. See? It doesn't do that fade. It's for people who want to save time and it actually does make the computer faster. Here's another thing. Storage sense. So to activate storage sense, so that which, what that does is it um, cleans junk files, stuff like that, to make sure that you're not running out of space. Windows is a very... <sighs> Sorry about that. I hope you yawned from that. Um, Windows is a very unoptimized operating system compared to Mac. Um, Windows has a lot of junk files that do not automatically clean themselves. So you have to manually do it. I know, not user friendly, but whatever. So what you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in storage and then type in, oh, well here it is, turn on storage sets. And this will give you a rundown of everything that's taken up storage on your system. But I recommend turning this on and configure storage sets and having it set to one day and then cleaning it. But I'd also recommend just disabling Google Drive as well. Or not Google Drive, OneDrive. Well, those are the three major things. What else could you do? Well, every time you install an application, it could be starting up when Windows starts up, which slows down your computer, especially when you turn it on. To fix this, right-click down here and click on Task Manager. Or use Control-Alt-Delete and click Task Manager. Once Task Manager pops up, you want to click on something called Startup. Now you'll notice a bunch of things on here. You want to click by status and sort by status. So when I click it, it'll either say everything is enabled or disabled. Now, if it's a, normally you'll be able to recognize it, but if you do not recognize it, I would not disable it. If it's anything by Microsoft or Intel or AMD, I wouldn't touch it because most likely that's something important but unless you know what it is you can disable it but most of these are stuff that is uh, is just downloaded most of it is not actually required as you can see Cortana even though it's by Microsoft it is not required stuff like that Oh, here's another thing. This is called MS Config. Now it's similar to the Task Manager startup, but just a little different. So to access this, you'll have to hold the Windows key and R for Run, right? And it will prompt you with a, this message called, type the name of the program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. Now what this does is just pretty much, you'll type in like a, a command or a program and it will automatically open it. So we want to type in msconfig, 
That's M S C O F N I N G. Trust me, it's not racist. Oh, I forgot the end. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a dummy. And that's config. There you go. And you'll notice a thing called system configuration. Now, you'll notice it should be on normal startup. Here's what I would recommend. I recommend going to the boot tab, clicking no GUI boot, and boot log, and OS boot information. Which also can help if your computer has a failure, because then it actually will have a boot log that's more detailed and can make sure that they know what's wrong with it. But here is where it gets really advanced. So if you don't know what you're doing, I really would recommend you not messing with this tab. So this is called services. And these are all the services that are required to run programs. Of course, you'll be messing with the ones that aren't by Microsoft, so make sure you click hide all Microsoft services. And then these are all the things that are either installed or come with your computer. Now, I'd recommend looking at the service and manufacturer, AMD Crash Defender Service. That sounds pretty useful, but if you don't know what it is, just don't mess with it. As you can see, the only things I have on is the applications I use, and the applications I don't use, like Easy Anti-Cheat, turned off unless an application starts it manually. But for the most case, if you don't see anything you don't recognize, like Bonjour, or if you just don't use it that often, most likely you can just get rid of it and be fine. And yes, that is just what I recommend. And that's really it for that. There's also one last thing I'd recommend, and but this can take a long time. So I'd go in at night when you're about to go to sleep and go on your local disk C folder and right click it and click properties. And then click compress this drive to save disk space and make sure you click on all subfolders, which compresses it so it's not as much storage. That's my tutorial on how to save and make how to save storage and make Windows run like an actual decent operating system. I have 16 gigs of RAM, Ryzen 3 2300X. I mean these aren't impressive specs, but they aren't low tiered either. And yet Windows runs sluggish. Even on really high end hardware like 64 gigs of RAM, a Ryzen 9, Windows can still run really slow. But with these simple tricks, it runs really well. So I hope this has all helped you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.